Hey everybody, it's me again, Kale. Here once more playing Tales of Asperia. Last time we left off, we had saved the city of Halur, restored their barrier, and turned their tree to a very beautiful blossom. And Zagi showed up. So now we're gonna book it out of town. You know, hopefully avoiding him. Hopefully. Doggo! Woof. Actually, that was, that was a questionable woof. Woof? This may be a selfish thing to say, but I'm happy this means we're continuing our journey. I haven't known this sort of freedom until now. <laughs> so, Carol, what are your plans? I want to go to the port city and cross over to Tolbikia from there. So I guess it's goodbye then. Huh? Thanks, Carol. It's been fun. Please take care of yourself. I mean, we're going in separate directions. On second thought, maybe I'll stick with you guys a little while longer. Eh. <laughs> Why? You guys would be lost and lonely without me around. Well, you sure. have come in surprisingly handy, Captain. Well then, let's all go together. So, east was it? Yeah, Flynn went east. Okay. I'd like to get to Ospio somehow. Anyway, let's get out of here before the goon squad shows up. On the road again. Successfully avoiding Zagi. Hey, his so just who squad. is this Flynn guy anyway? Were you and him seeing each other, Estelle? What do you mean, seeing each other? Flynn is Yuri's friend. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Two friends going after the same girl? You got a little wild side, <laughs> don't you, Estelle? What do you mean, wild side? No, it's all God right. It. You can keep your secrets. God damn it, Carol. He so got the wrong idea. Dork. All right, eastwards. So this road, I assume. Oh, wow. Yeah, no wonder they would be called the City of Shade. Right. Damn cavern. Hmm, that is. First things first, though. We got an entire overworld to explore. Haven't done a whole lot of that in this particular side of the world. What's my map button? That's not the map button. Uh... There we go. Well, that isn't exactly helpful. All right, bring it on, B boy. Oh, he's, uh, he's, uh, this new weapon is really, really making fights easy. Also, I'm getting apple gels off these guys. Nice. Free supply repl replenishing. All about that. I don't see any scan point or uh, harvest points, which makes me a little sad. Kind of hoping for some neat supplies, but I guess not. Oh, hey, what's that? That's just weird. Alright. How about over here? This is clearly not where I'm supposed to be going quite yet, but I'm curious. Oh, hey! My caravan friends! Am I gonna get told not to be here? Not right away, at least. Did I stumble into a side quest? If so, that's pretty dope. Free roaming in games has been dead for a while. You know, unless it's in, like an open world game, in which case, Ben's story's been dead. Uh, I have some mild qualms about modern gaming. Ooh. 
I guess we'll find out how far ahead of the curve we are. Not too far. That seems like a pretty pretty nice uh, sub uh, segmented upgrade. Is there no way forward from here? I also didn't be able to get a location card. Which means I'm probably not supposed to be here yet. Oh, the Lyca told you that. I don't know if there's any way forward up there. Maybe over here? Placement magic lens for that one, for that one I use in the Egg Bear. interesting around here. But I did get an armor upgrade for Estelle and some money. I'm gonna call that uh, an overall net win on the on the side of adventure. Still don't know what it's called, but it was profitable. Anyway, I'm sure we'll come back there in due time. For now though, Let's head into Ospia. It looks like this is Ospio. It's so gloomy and damp here. It's giving me the chills, too. It's because the city is in a cavern. I wonder if the lack of sun drives the nice. people here to do shady things, like stealing Blastia cores. The sealed city of scholars, Ospio. Yeah, it's called the city of scholars. I think people here be a bit more respectful. Are you saying this? The fuck is this? It's the Wonder Chef! <laughs> At last, someone found me! I've been waiting. I'm Wonder Chef. I travel the world far and wide, seeking gourmet food and travelers that appreciate the importance of fine dining. You'll usually find me in disguise. A food connoisseur should have no problem seeing through it, though. Call it a test, if you will. But it seems like you're one of them. <laughs> You've got potential. For that, I'm going to reward you with a recipe. Ooh. I'll give you this so you can practice. Nice. For the love of food! Bon appetit! <laughs> well, that happened. Door is locked. Front gate it is. May I see your passport, please? Don't have one. Our passport? This is an Imperial facility. We can't just let anyone inside, can we? Passport? You don't have one of those, do you? An associate of ours is inside. Could you please let us through? If you filled out the official visitation paperwork, then you ought to have gotten your passport from this associate of yours. Mm. This is the first we've heard, though. If you won't let us in, perhaps you could call him to the gate for us? What's your associate's name? Mordio. 
Mordio. Oh, that's not some triggers. We can't help you. You'll need to mail in a request and have a passport officially issued to you. Damn. Is there a problem? Don't budge an inch, do you? Excuse me, but did a knight by the name of Flynn happen to stop by here? All information about the establishment is classified. We cannot share even small details with outsiders. So you can't even tell me why Flynn was here? No, of course not. So what you're saying is that Flynn really did come here? <laughs> uh, I don't know who you're talking about. A knight named Flynn? Never heard of him. Right. Can we at least leave him a message? Give it up, Esteliz. We'd have more luck asking a brick wall for help. Let's just go. But Flynn's inside. What? Or has been inside the We're just going to give up? I'm not going to give up. I'm going to see Flynn. And I'm going to take back that Blastia from that thief Mordio and give him a beating he won't forget. So can't we look for another way in? Of course we can. Let's take a stroll around, why don't we? What's that? As a last resort, maybe we could go over the walls. That seems like we're asking quite a bit. Those are impressive walls. That said, there is this back entrance I saw. Maybe we can give a knock. Doors like this never open when you want them to. I don't see a window around here either. I guess we'll have to climb over the wall and open it from the inside. A little quick to jump to our last resort, aren't you? Let's wait for Flynn to come out then. Even if Flynn comes out, it's not like he's gonna bring Mordio out with him. Well, if Flynn comes outside, we can just ask him to let us in, can't He'd never go for a plan like this. It's far too much of a goody goody. Carol, what are you doing? There! It's open! Huh? You can't do that! What kind of rogue uses an axe? A great axe! Your guild specializes in hunting monsters, right? Or are you guys into thieves' guild type stuff too? <laughs> um, yeah, well, I'm pretty much the only one who can do anything like this. Well, good job. Shall we? No, weird kid. that's bad. We should just wait here for Flynn. I don't have the patience to wait for Flynn to just happen to walk out of this town by chance. It was unquestioning obedience to laws and authority in times like this that made me quit the Imperial Knights in the first place. But... Exposition! Well then, Estelle, keep a lookout here for us, won't you? Wait, but... but... um... I'm going with you. Lawful good characters learning Man, to be neutral there are good. A lot of Mordio lookalikes here, aren't there? Excuse me. Do you have a minute? Well, what do you want? Would you happen to know me. if a knight named Flynn Shifo has come through here? Flynn? Oh, that guy. He was saying something about going to catch someone who'd been vandalizing ruins. Where is he now? I couldn't say. My research keeps me too busy to pay attention to things like that. I. Me. I see. I'm sorry to- I'll be taking my leave then. Hey, wait up. Tell me one more thing. Is there a famed mage named Mordio around here? Yeah, there are people who want to see that weirdo. Why does everyone react like that? So I was right. You know Mordio? No, uh, I don't know anything at all. I don't associate with people like that. Hey, I'm not done yet. What? What is it? Tell me where the mage is. Mordio lives alone in a shack back that way. Go and see for yourself if you want. Thanks. That's all I wanted to hear. I'm gonna go read your books. Are you sure about this? Hmm? Everyone seems to get all out of sorts just from hearing that guy's name. It's weird. I mean, yeah. yeah. Doesn't it bother you? We kind of need to go retrieve a Blastia from him. Well, he's a Blastia thief. It's no wonder people don't like him. You know, Yuri... Your attitude, your behavior, they don't seem very knightly. Where'd that come I mean, from? That's why he's an ex -knight. I mean, we're entering the city through a back entrance, like thieves. This coming from the guy who picked the lock. I'm just tagging along to find Flynn, and now you've turned me into a thief. <laughs> we haven't stolen anything. Sheesh. Uh... Man, this place is weird. Oh. Uh, 
No need, but thank you. Glad to know you're here. Uh, and a fortune's market outlet. Nice. Um, cover and evade would be nice. Oh, that's a... That's a... You're, you use axes? Hmm. Weird. Uh, but I suppose I can buy a hammer for my, uh, my friend. So I don't really have anything else to give him. Like a ribbon. Ooh, and ring mail. I can find another main. Neat. Jacket for the puppy. Neat. Again, need more mains. I figure out what drops mains. Anyway, let's uh, let's pick up some more food. Let's never have too much food. Ooh, an iron protector. Especially for dogs. Yeah, sure. Um, I'm running low on cash now. Up, oh, sorry, buddy. I ran out of money to buy your hammer. Oops. stand to buy like a new helmet and glove. It's had those since the beginning. It does lower its agility a little bit. Which is fair. I imagine dog barting is pretty heavy. I don't want to interrupt all these guys' is reading. They all seem like they're doing important research. Let's we'll see if we can't find Mordia real quick. Man, I'll leave you be. Oh, point me. Ooh. Well, this looks like a shack. More shack-like than anything else around here. Keep out. Seriously. Mordio. Oh, helpful. I guess this is the place. I think people usually try knocking first. We did try looks knocking. Looks like no one's home. What should we do? No point in hesitating when you're heading into a den of thieves. No, I don't want us to commit any more crimes. I guess that means it's my turn then. What? Your turn? Lockpick! We shouldn't do that either. Nothing to it. Wait for me! Please, wait. Why does he always I'm do that? I'm having a hard time pinning down what Carol's class is. <laughs> He uses a he uses a heavy weapon. This is crazy. Who could live in a place like and this? And yet uses thieves' tools. You can pretty much live anywhere you can eat and sleep if you set your mind to it. Good point. Yuri, don't you have something to say first? Uh, hello. We're coming in. And the door? Carol here. Open your door. <laughs> Sorry about that. Honestly, Yuri. Excuse us. Is anyone home? It's a good thing no one's here. That means we get to look for evidence. Time to raid the place. This city sure has a lot of books. I'm not really too crazy about reading, and I have a hard time sleeping in this place. Yeah, you seem like you're too jittery to sit still and look at something for too long. You're one to talk. Hey, what happened to Estelle? She's been over there reading books ever since we got here. Hmm. Estelle, time to get going. Hmm. When she her starts nose reading, is you can't pull her away. Huh? Did you say something? This seems to be literature from an ancient civilization. <laughs> She's not even listening. Look, this is important. Uh, 
Now, just because someone studies hard, that doesn't mean that their actions are right or just. Hey, the cover's all... Oh, the cover's about to fall off this one. Treat books with respect. Priceless information is written on their pages. Yeah. Uh, oh, what's this? That's a Blastia formula. Yeah. Feel free to sleep inside if you'd like. Are you cold? Step inside? Okay. Sorry, I read that wrong. I've had enough crimes for today, thank you. It's not such a big deal. Not a big deal? <clears throat> Breaking and entering is a crime punishable by at least a year in prison and a fine of up to 10,000 gold. Notice how messy this writing is? I can't write nicer than this. They say people with bad handwriting have good hearts. Well, I have good handwriting and a good heart. How about that? Yeah, yeah. Not important. Still, do you know what this formula means? It resembles a magic circle that uses fire. But I'm not sure. At least you understand a little bit. It means nothing to me at all. Uh, a bunch of broken junk. Oh, check this out! It's a Blastia model! Hmm. Whoever made this is pretty talented. It's a model of a Grand Blastia. It's not working, though. Grand Blastia? Grand Blastia refers to especially large types of Blastia, including, but not limited to, Barrier Blastia. Read that in a book, too, huh? Can I climb these books to get over the ladder? Uh. <laughs> what is that? Have you been there the entire time? tricks like that. Why'd you bother skipping town back in Zafius? Huh? Skipping town? Why would I need to skip town? For stealing the core of a Blastia from the lower quarter in the capital. What else? What? You're calling me a thief. Have you ever heard of common sense? Sure. So you break into a home, call the owner a thief, and wave a sword in their face. The, what the, the hell kind of over there being is bored. that? Hey, dog! You stay back, you... you dog! Wow! That was and you, rude. kid, give him back! What do you mean? The Blastia, the Blastia, give him back to me! Him? What's with you? My name is Esteliz. We're terribly sorry for barging in on you like this. Yuri, Carol, you too. Look, don't... Sorry. Don't drag me into your apologies. I'm here on duty. So, what do you want? Well, you see, Yuri has followed a Blastia thief here all the way from the Imperial capital. And? And that Blastia thief wore a cape, was short, and their name was Mordio. So? Hmm. Well, Mordio is certainly my name. Rita Mordio, to be exact. And the height matches up, too. What do you have to say for yourself? I told you, I have no idea what you're... Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Follow me. What, do you have family? What? Uh, maybe you didn't hear me. We're not finished here. Just follow me, would you? There's talk that some thieves have turned up in the Shikos ruins. Thieves? Are you sure about that? It came from an Imperial Knight who asked me for oh. help. It should be trustworthy. I know what you're talking about. Do you think that knight might have been Flynn? It's gotta be. Looks like she shot him down, though. 
Hey, remember what that guy outside said about someone vandalizing the ruins? Which means the thief who stole the Blastia core could be there. Hmm. Things are coming together. Hmm, maybe. Oh. Travel gear? Finished chatting? L All right, but don't even think of making a break for it. You don't have to come. If you want, I'll just call the guards. Why don't we give it a try? It sounds like Flynn might even be there. It's up to you. Go to jail, make a run for it, or follow me. Pick one. Okay, okay. We'll go with you. Fine. The Shikos ruins are even further to the east. So sassy. Once you leave the city. Hey. Yay, new party member. Goodbye, Carol. Rita's a little scary, huh? Really? She's about what I'd expect. Seems like she's in a crappy mood, too. That's because you broke into her house, Yuri. I, mean, I don't exactly feel like being on my best behavior when I'm dealing with a core thief. What will you do if you're wrong about her? If I'm wrong, I'll apologize. You'd better remember that when the time comes. Oh, were you listening? I just happened to overhear. So you think I'm scary, do you? Oof. Watch it, Carol. She's definitely the kind to hold a grudge. Hey! D don't scare me like that! I mean, she already did blast you. Uh, but there we go. Every party needs a mage. But not every party needs a bruiser. Especially when that bruiser happens to be less tanky than the main character. Speaking of mage, what kind of magic you got? Base heart, your grace uh, is the enemy flying. This is the magical incantation, Rudolph. Are some of your uh, abilities just complex formulas? Because if so, neat. I'm glad that's. I'm glad that most of your recognizable abilities, though, are properly named. Uh, at least you know helps me keep things straight. Anyway, I guess we've got a clue on both. Uh, where Flynn and our Blastia Core thief may be. So, I think with that, we'll call the episode shortly. And continue that trail in the next one. Hope you're all enjoying yourselves. And if so, please feel free to let me know down below with a like, comment, subscribe, as per usual. We're gonna head on back here. Get to the inn. Get to the save point. I think it'll be good. Take a quick nap. And I'll come back in the next episode. Till then, though, you will have yourselves a fragile day. And I'll see you in the next adventure. Later. <laughs>